a, a massive mega bust for Bitcoin, sending it all the way to the $18,500 level for the first time since December 14th. That ultimately led the baby bulls to squeak out the teensiest, teensiest higher high. The moon boys are back with a vengeance as CPI comes in exactly as predicted. But the big question is, will this latest news allow Bitcoin to enter its first true relief rally of the last year? Or are the baby bears back with an absolutely raging dumpage alert like we have never seen before? Right now, the Bitcoin price is right around the $18,000 level as the CPI report came in at about 6.5%, which is exactly in line with the predictions of the last week. And we saw the price, to be honest, not really do too much. Not much of a pump, not much of a dump, but there are three absolutely insane things going on. One on Bitcoin, one on the stock market, and one on something else that will completely blow your mind. And uh, honestly, are we about to have a mega bust or mega dump? Because uh, one thing, in my opinion, is for sure, uh, things could literally not be any bigger. And after you see this video, uh, I promise you will absolutely agree. So first off, taking a look at Bitcoin here, we have now broken concretely. And again, it depends if we're able to maintain this momentum. But for the very first time, we have squeaked above, squeaked our heads above uh, a very long term, very substantial, significant long term level of resistance for Bitcoin. And the stock market is doing something very big as well that we're going to look at right now because that absolutely matters in the context of crypto as well. So uh, crypto very unlikely will go on a massive run right now if the stock market is getting dumped on. Actually, before we go into that, I mean, the DXY is getting dumped on. And this is big. Again, we're getting rejected in this range. And if you have the... If you have the hopes of Bitcoin going on a very strong relief over the next few weeks and months, then this is exactly what you want to see. So that's good if that's what you want. That's a very big step right there. Um, and so more importantly, let's take a look. The SPX, we have seen the MACD cross multiple times, just a handful of times the entire year of 2022 after we got rejected off of this long-term downtrend uh, resistance line. And now what you can see a little bit different this time is that we have already shifted into bullish momentum here after getting a double rejection at the beginning of December. And now again, this is not only big for Bitcoin, but the DX, uh, sorry, the SPX is now testing its 200 day moving average, this yellow line right here, where every time that it squeaked barely up to those levels, it a got rejected and B got rejected very quickly. And so now we're we're kind of squeaking our uh, we're kind of squeaking our way up there now, after just visiting there less than a month ago or about exactly a month ago. Okay, um, so you can see momentum is definitely changing. Where uh, over the past year we have gotten up to this 200 day, gotten completely dumped on, and then entered a very massive dump. You can see it happened here back in May, happened here back in August, both of 2022, and now we have had three touches on this line just over the past month, and that has not happened. You can see the pressure absolutely wants to uh, move to the upside. Not to mention as well, we have these higher lows with the lows, the ultimate lows so far set back in October of 2022, and now significantly higher back from about 3,500 now to 3,800 is that second higher low. Uh, you can see the stock market absolutely wants to have some relief. And again, 4,000 is that target we've been talking about, and we are close. We are very close right now. So um, just very big things. And again, this is good because if the stock market can pump, then absolutely it gives Bitcoin the ability to pump. It doesn't guarantee that Bitcoin is going to pump, but at least it gives Bitcoin the chance, which Bitcoin realistically right now doesn't even have a chance of pumping if the stock market dumps. And now similarly, just as huge, just as ginormous, potentially twice as ginormous is that Bitcoin on the weekly chart is touching on its 21 week moving average which again, very similar story. Every time it got up to that level, it got basically immediate strong rejections. You can see it happened here uh, back in at the very end of October, beginning of November. You can see it happened here as well back in March of 2022. Um, and this entire dumpulation that Bitcoin has been in, this has been the key level where Bitcoin just gets rejected and, and our hopes and dreams of a relief rally just get crushed. Now we're there again. And if we're able to move above that, then our hopes and dreams of a relief rally, be, you know, very quickly can become reality. Right now, that price target sits right around 18,500, exactly where we've touched so far. 
So basically what I'm saying is if Bitcoin is able to break above that and hold there, just have some strength there instead of a quick rejection, if it's able to last a few days, which could turn into a week or two, if it can do that, we can very quickly turn into a very strong relief to where you see 20,000, 23, even up to 25,000 very, very quickly if Bitcoin is able to break these levels. And just as I said about a week ago, before this whole pump, I made the video, you can, I believe it's um, either this one or this one. You can go back and watch it. What I said was, guys, if you look at this chart, this is one of those moments where uh, you look back and you know you could just tell there was about to be a pump coming. I said that when we were at 17,000. Now we're at 18,200. So, so far that's literally exactly what happened right here. I said it when price was right around here. Actually, it was at 16,6 when I said that, when I made that video. Um, and now we, we absolutely are making a move to the upside. So now I'm gonna say again, this is exactly one of those moments where if, if we're able to just squeak out a little positive price action, right at these levels and break above 18,005. And again, the higher, the better, the more, the more, um, the stronger of a confirmation. If we're able to do that, this can qu very quickly turn into a very explosive relief. Okay. Where people are going to look and say, "Whoa, why did we just, why did we just blow up $3,000, $4,000 to the upside? I'm telling you right now exactly why that could be the case. If, if we're able to here, I um, mean, again, uh, CPI, it's very likely now it's over a 90% chance that Bitcoin or sorry, it's over 90% chance that the next FOMC meeting will see a uh, 25 basis point rate hike, which is low, which is good. Uh, there's only a 7% chance that we will get uh, more than that. But basically all that to say is that we are seeing the effects of these interest rate hikes and it's kind of becoming apparent. And the thing is they're lagging too. It's going to, we're going to see more and more effects month after month. We're seeing housing get hit. We're seeing used car sales. We're, we're seeing a lot of things get hit. We're seeing people's grocery bills get hit, right? Everything's more expensive. Um, and that's exactly the intention of these Fed rate hikes, trying to slow everything down. We're seeing it happen, okay? Uh, it's kind of like, you know, we haven't really seen something exactly like this ever. So the Fed is kind of just doing this and we're waiting. Everyone's watching and waiting to see exactly how it plays out. But again, it's still very early. But as we're seeing all this data come back, so far it is showing us, okay, we really are slowing everything down. We are taming, or at least the, the Fed is very strongly trying to tame this inflation so it doesn't become entrenched we are seeing that and ultimately if we want the possibility of ever seeing a very strong bull run again that's what we need right now so ultimately that is a that's a good thing now with that being said uh just to you know with that being said dxy going down spx the stock market not looking too bad and in fact i think it's very possible over the next week we could see this trend continue basically the thing that i think was good about getting this exactly expected cpi report is that uh, it's not good. It's not bad. But in my opinion, it is good because now all it does is at least give the stock market and give crypto to give risk on assets the ability to rise higher. OK, because if we get if we would have gotten a higher number, if inflation came in hot, it it would have done what it has done in the past. Crush our chances of ever going up in, until the next CPI. That's basically all, all that means now with getting this uh, pretty much average expected CPI report. It doesn't guarantee that we can go up, but it at least gives us the ability, okay? Because when we get these hot inflation numbers, it takes away our ability for the month to even have a chance really of pumping. So that's, I mean, that's really the takeaway there. And I'm still in long position trades here. I'm, I'm finding this, you know, obviously this is risky to trade, but it's very exciting because again, uh, if you look at this chart, guys, look at this chart. Is this a level where you really think, yeah, I should definitely be shorting? Maybe, could be. But I mean, again, also, let's, I mean, let's be honest, just looking at this chart, the potential, and again, we have to factor a lot of things here. There's absolutely no guarantee, but the potential for a nice relief. I'm not saying we're going back to all time highs. Absolutely not. What I'm saying is a potential for a nice relief up to even the low 30,000s becomes realistic here in just even the first quarter of 2023. It's realistic. It's not guaranteed. Absolutely not. But it's a realistic thing now, especially as the thing that was holding us down the entire year, very high inflation, seems to potentially be on a different trend of coming down, ultimately which will lead to a Fed pivot at some point in the future. This is absolute time sensitive alerts. Take advantage of massive deposit and welcome bonuses for free with Bybit and Bicket below. And if you sign up with my links in the description to Bybit or Bicket, 
Uh, receive also zero fees for spot trading, which is absolutely monumental. Uh, spot tra uh, fees for spot trading can be a little, well, they're unnecessary, right? And so if you have the option to trade spot without fees, why not take that? Uh, without any further ado, that's it for me.